Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for another review of Supergirl. This time it's Distant Sun. I don't really get the episode title. No. I mean, like, I get it. If 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 it was spelt with an O, it would make sense. But <laughs> there's like, if it were like a couple, a double meaning, that would make sense. But there's no double meaning. It's just the f real meaning. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make sense. Whatever, getting to the plot at hand, we're finally sticking towards the main plot. No filler, no nothing. It's all about the Daxamites. We're starting to, I mean, we've only got, what, five episodes left of this season? So, of course, we've got to finally, you know, we're five episodes left and we're finally cementing who our villains of the season are. Yeah, because um, the Queen just won't let it go. And she killed her husband because he got a brain. Yeah. I mean, I knew that happened, but I forgot that it happened in this episode. I thought it would go on longer. But yeah, you do see that Monel's father is actually somewhat reasonable near the end. I mean, even near the beginning, because he didn't even know they'd put a bounty on her. But yeah. Mm. I didn't realize he. See, there was a part where he wasn't very reasonable when Monel was talking about equality and stuff, and he called it absurd. So. Well, I mean, he respects Monel, but that doesn't mean he magically changes his ways. True, he is kind of stuck in his classist ways. Yeah, we can see they still have their ways, but at the same time, he still wants to respect Monel when he sees things. Unfortunately, yeah. he's now dead, and Ray is a complete lunatic. I know. The dad is smart enough to know that being a good parent means, you know, letting your kid be happy. Whereas the mother is like, oh, you know I love you and all that. No, you don't. If you loved him, you wouldn't want to force him into stuff against his will. Well, that's villains for you. I know. But it's so many villain parents on TV. They say they love their kid. No, you don't. You're hurting them. <sighs> yep. But yeah, it's mostly about that. We do get some good stuff. Like, obviously, we get the good fight scene between the Daxamites and John and Kara and all that. We get to finally see John use his psychic powers to read minds on one of the aliens. Why doesn't he do this more often? We'll Why never know. Why didn't he just do it to the first guy that she fought? We will never know. These people, John just barely, he never uses his mind powers. Hmm. But yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot. And the president's an alien. Well, we already knew that. Oh, yeah. I think it was shown the last, the first time we saw her, but yeah, they reminded us. Oh. But although last time she kind of just did the eye thing like with Jean, but this time I think she did the whole face. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of weird why they keep leading up to that. But oh, well, we'll see what's going to go on with that. Because yeah, we have the president in this episode again. Yeah. So we've got the president, we've got our villains of the Daxamites, and this show really just focuses on that. There's no side plots, Wynn's helping out the main plot, James kind of, he didn't do much other than fighting mon -El for a brief second, but James barely does anything. Yeah, well it does make sense that they'd be the villains of the season, considering the season started out with mon -El being the Yeah, of course, but at the same time, it's just odd that, well, okay, but think about this. They're more the seasons of the back half, because you could argue the seasons of the villains of the first half were still Cadmus. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The first half of the season was very Cadmus-filled, and then the Daxmites just come out of nowhere. It's like, oh, I guess we're dealing with them now. Why they waited this long for the Daxamite to be the true villain, I don't know. I guess, it, I, guess I can kind of understand it, because it's not like a villain with a plan where you could string it out for 20 episodes. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, on Flash and Arrow, you have more of a singular villain where you can say, all right, here's their plan. They've got to have something in the background the whole time. Mm. Whereas here, they've just, I mean, they've kind of been foreshadowed, obviously, with them showing up in a few episodes looking for Manel. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, once again, I do, all, obviously, I enjoy episodes which focus mostly on the main plot. There's no real side plots. I enjoy episode. I do actually enjoy the Daxmites as villain. I mean, sure, they're crazy, but they're a lot more of they're a more enjoyable villain than say um, Non and Astra from season one. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. But there, there are so many times when it just reminds me of Steven Universe, like when Blue Diamond says your time on Earth has warped your sense of right and wrong, and it's like 
Yeah, it fixed his sense of right and wrong. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, there is a lot of similarities to that with you know, yeah, with the way they're changed, way the way you know Monel's changed to see things. I mean, things. the classism and the how when they put Stevani in in time out in in a room. Just yeah, I know. Like just they like... were gonna put Monel in. in they his did cell. put him in yeah, a cell. Yeah, they put him in a cell. I know. I didn't notice the similarities, and thankfully yeah. you can make all the comparisons now because we've seen it. Yeah. But yeah, there are a lot of similarities. I didn't think about it, but yeah. But yeah, other than that, I can't really think about much to this episode. That's that's the one thing about a main pl- an episode focused on a main plot. You don't have to spend time debating every single side plot. Yeah, with with pink being a diamond, it's like Monel being a prince where they they tell Pink Diamond, you don't really have to do much, you just have to be there and be the face of stuff and people will look up to you. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot like that. So yeah, I didn't think about the similarities, but there you go. But yeah. Yeah, Pink didn't have any real control. She All right. was more like the princess of the situation. Yeah, okay, whatever. Our, our, our Steven Universe reviews are over. <laughs> yes, I know. But, yeah, other than that, there's five episodes left, and I'm trying to think what's going to happen in the next few episodes, because obviously I know how the last few go out, but there's always the episodes building up today I always forget about. Yeah. But anyway. um, I'll give an eight. I'll go, yeah, I'll go 8.5. This was <clears throat> one of the better season two episodes, thankfully. I'm cu- I am curious about the next episode because I have absolutely no idea what happens in the next episode. We'll never know. I mean, we will. We'll watch it next. <laughs> We're about to watch it. But yeah. yeah, I have no idea. What's it called? Ace Reporter. I mean, Kara is still fired. Yeah. I guess they didn't really dwell on that. So yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I'll be curious to see how. I mean, I'll probably remember it once we see it, but yeah. Anyway, we'll see you next time for more Supergirl and other things as well. See, see you, you next, next time, time guys. guys.